Hi, my name is Lieke Schepers. This is the second part of a two-part series on making a prop gun for a movie. I'll link the first uh, episode up here. And yes, this is the gun. And it works. So let me show you how I did it. Yeah, let's see if we can get this puppy together. Uh, first, we need to install the injection lever. I almost forgot that. The last time I built the prototype. Glasses. This is nice and fiddly, as usual. So, that goes in there and then kicks it out. Okay, now, oh yeah, last night I glued a nice piece of aluminium in here uh, this is still aluminium that my dad used to make a hi-fi piece of hi-fi furniture uh, when i was 15 or something and i still have that stuff i love how sometimes things just have history you know and they have meaning Uh, there we go. Um, rotate locked in. Okay. Now See, this is the, the mechanism. If I pull this back, you'll see the lever being slammed. That's how that little piece of stuff works. Oh yeah, need to put a little bit of lube on here. This is a uh, nice thick uh, silicone lube, also used in RC cars in the differentials, 10k lube it's called, this one, but it's just perfect for lubricating this piston and also for um, giving it, making it a little bit more airtight because I don't have any O-rings or any of that stuff in here. Okay. So that works. Now, next step. So this will fit like that. Uh, trigger, no, first this. Also, there's a little bit more in detail. For instance, this pal here falls into this slot in the, mag in the magazine. And this is the valve that gets pushed by the hammer when you pull the trigger. Oh, when the hammer fires, let's put it that way. Anyway, so this goes in here, and then these little screws. 
fix it into position. That's one. Two. Now we can do the trigger mechanism. Um, that's this screw. Loose enough so that it moves. I think I'll uh, put some Loctite when, once we go into shooting mode. I'll put some Loctite in the screws so that they don't undo. Okay, yeah. Seems to work. So this will slide in here, and you can see it hits the, the valve. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking that this will probably have to be glued in here, but for now let's just give it a try. without any glue. I'm hoping that it will clamp because there's a hole here as well. Um, I designed it to clamp, but <clears throat> um, yeah. Where is this going? Ah, the slider pipe in later. Yeah, okay. This doesn't work. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, there's one long screw. That goes through all the parts into the other half. Just to clamp it again. And then these short ones. The only disadvantage I have from using these uh, this uh, high kappa magazine is that it's so big. So the handle got a little bit bigger than I wanted, but also that means that every um, if I'm going to make a machine gun or whatever like that, I still need to have that magazine somewhere in, and I, I wish I could find something like this with the valve and so forth and the exhaust but then in a round shape so I can build it into smaller um, things you know what <laughs> it's done <laughs> okay um, so these are supposed to go here I'll glue those on later but I think that looks better in black than it did that um, tacky yellowish gold that I was trying first yeah that'll work oh yeah and we have a little clip here to lock the magazine in place I'm getting all excited well shall we see if this actually fires when I, I'll, I'll glue these on later it's not relevant here um let's put a little bit of gas in Slide it in and lock it. 
Nothing. I don't think there's enough gas in there. No. It fires. You can hear the click. Let's see what's going on. reason it doesn't fire deep enough. See, I shouldn't have done all the screws up first. Because <laughs> then you know that a thing is not going to work once you do all the screws first. Uh, yeah, take that thing out first. Seems to work fine. Ah, I think I know. I'll be right back. <laughs> yes, okay. That spring that I made on camera is not strong enough. I've put the original for the prototype, uh, the original spring back in. And this one is strong enough, at least, I hope so, yeah, yeah, shall we, shall we, yeah, yes, it is, okay, so at least now I can assemble it, but I need to figure out what the difference is between that spring and this spring. the same wire. Anyway, I have a spring. I'm going to get, there's a lovely lady in Limassol who you bring her a spring, no matter how crappy it looks like this, and she makes really nice product for you. I mean, this is, ah, you can't see it. Uh, yeah, this is a spring I made before earlier and for the casings. When I give it to her, it's going to look like a spring. I guarantee you. Okay, let's put it back together again. But now with the original. Spring, let's not forget this. I think I'll need to build a little chamfer or something to guide this better in, in, in better because this is not going to work on set. I'm doing it again. I'm, I'm putting in all the screws. I'm tightening all the screws. You want to bet that now it doesn't work? <laughs> There's some other reason why it's not going to work. I'm pretty sure. Charge it up. Let's see what happens. You guys ready? Shall we go? Yeah. The return spring. Okay, it needs to slide a little bit more. Ooh, can already see scratches coming here, so I need to file that down. I got this fantastic little file set from Raro um, model thing in, in Germany. These are, I, I love these kind of tiny little things. They're absolutely beautiful. And they work as well. Well, how does a file not work? Of course they work. Um, 
Shall we try loading a cartridge? Backwards, you silly idiot. Almost said a bad word there. won't slide in. Why not? Where's my glasses? Ah, okay. I don't know if you can see it, but the lever for the ejection sits in the way. Let's fake it, shall we? It ejects. Okay. So a little bit of fine tuning and uh, this project's done. I'm excited. I really am. Now for a show reel of a few nice pictures of the 1911, sort of. And a little clip of it firing and ejecting a casing and I still need to work on the casing and the ejection because it's not violent enough thank you for watching